All right, Zach, thanks. From the coal mine to Korea, Jay Colentz was 20 years old when a letter from the president told him to report to the draft board in 1951. He spent two years in the Army and several more in the reserves, all with a young family back home. It is a great honor and pleasure to express the everlasting gratitude of the Republic of Korea and our people for the service you and your countrymen have performed in restoring and preserving our freedom and democracy. For nine months, Jay Colins was in combat in Korea, helping its people fight for their freedom. But before that, he was taken away from his job in the coal mines to join the Army. So I trained with the 7th Armored Division with the 33rd Armored Engineers on the Mojave Desert. That was across the country and too far away for Colins to come home before he went overseas. So they gave me $14 to lay en route, to travel with. But I had 6,000 miles to travel, so the $14 didn't do it. So I didn't get a, I didn't get a furlough. So I, I went directly to Camp Stoneman, which I had to get there early. In the middle of the night, I was wakened up and put on an airplane and flew to Japan. Then he was abruptly taken to Korea. In a, in a ship and, and made an amphibious landing in Incheon. And that's where I stepped foot in, uh, in the Republic of South Korea was in Incheon. Since Colins had prior experience with high explosives in the coal mines, that became his job. But he said a lot of what happened to him, he left in Korea. It was not a pleasant situation. But while he was there, his life changed back at home. We were married and uh, had a little daughter. And a, and a loved wife was three months pregnant when they drafted me. So I had my son was born when, when I was in Korea. Communicating with his family was difficult. You'd gotten mail, but uh, the biggest part of that was blanked out. Uh, and, uh, you know, you couldn't, there's so much you could say and, about your positions and whatever. When his time in Korea was over, Colins came home and went right back to work. He says he did his job for his country and he's proud of it. Uh, when you take that obligation, uh, when you take that obligation, you hold that right hand up, you know, to protect that Constitution of the United States of America. And that just don't end when you're out of service. That stays with you till, till you take your last breath and, and, and to defend that flag and protect that flag. Collins kept his mining job for a while, but also went to police officer training and worked closely with the local judges and the late Sheriff Fred Abdullah and the BCI. He's a member of several veterans organizations and remains involved with the UMWA.